sunspot lab by now after doing your pre-lab you should understand the term differential rotation and the sun undergoes differential rotation to complete this lab is quite simple we're just going to track sunspots over a period of time and their movement as you notice here at the bottom you have day one at 6 55 p.m you can actually open up this calculation and type that in day one 6 55. we're going to pick three different sunspots and at, at, um, on three different locations on the sun. So this is how you do this. So again, you're going to be doing three spots, but I'll just demonstrate it by doing one. We're going to take this marker, we're going to place it on the sun, and we're going to place it on this one sunspot to me because it's the most obvious. Remember, sunspots do have a magnetic field, and they don't actually move in a straight line across the sun. They sort of move at an angle. And then we're going to move that sunspot and then put the other marker in where it moved. I'll, I'll mark the day 5 at 5.05 p.m. Then I'll get my ruler and I'll actually measure from one dot to the other and I'll put that on my piece of paper and write day 5, 5.05 p.m. and I'll mark, write down my measurement. And then you're going to actually put your start time in, your end time in, day 5, 5.05 p.m. and the distance that that sunspot moved. Then you're also going to measure the diameter of the sun going from one end to the other, going straight across, and writing that measurement in. And that will give you uh, the movement of that sunspot, or the differential rotation in that period of the sun. Then we'll pick another sunspot, say, say, for example, this one, and we'll do the same procedure. Then we're also going to actually calculate sunspot size. That's quite simple. We're just going to grab a sunspot. We're going to use our ruler. And we're going to, you can turn it sideways by using this little angle. We're going to measure the size of it, and we're going to do the best that we can. Um, let's like say from one end to the other here, we measure the size of it, and we'll put that as a sunspot, sunspot size. And then we're going to measure our distance across the sun, and that will give you the sun's diameter. And we're going to compare this, the size of the sunspot to the Earth's radius. Okay, we know that the Earth's radius is 6,000. 378 kilometers. Well, how is that sun, the, the size of a sunspot compared to that? So again, this is your lab on tracking sunspots and showing the sun's differential rotation and also looking at the size of sunspots compared to Earth. If you have any questions on how to complete this lab, please contact your instructor.